Hey guys, today we'll discuss about anatomy of lungs, right? So, where is our lungs located in our body? Lungs are located in a thoracic cavity. So, we have two lungs, right? One is left lung, one is right lung. So, today we'll discuss anatomy of the both lungs. So, we'll start with that. So, here is our right lung. So, this is our right lung. This will be our left lung, right? So, we have two lungs, one is on the right, one is on the left. So, every lung has lobes. So, right lung has three lobes and left lung has two lobes. So, number of lobes is two in the left lung, three in the right lung, right? So, now, how these lobes are divided, we'll see. We have a line or a fissure called oblique, uh, horizontal fissure, right? One more oblique line right so why these lines are so important for us because they are the lines which divide in the lungs into lobes so this will be our right upper lobe this will be our right middle lobe right this will be our right lower lobe right what about left lung left lung has only two lobes which is divided by one line so this will be left upper lobe this will be left lower lobe, right? So, before going to that, lung as this, the upper part of the lung is called apex. It is also called as apex pulmonis. So, this part of the lungs, so this part of the lungs, we call them as apex. So, that is also called apex pulmonis. So, the lower part of the lung is called base of the lung. So, when we say that base of the lung, so base or inferior surface of the lung is situated on a muscle called diaphragm, right? So, this will be our diaphragm. Right? So, this is our diaphragm. So, on diaphragm, our two lungs are located. So, how they are divided? The right lung has three lobes, left lung has two lobes. So, every lung is made up of segments. So, I mean every lobe has its own segments, right? Generally, some books say it is 12 segments, some books say it is 10 segments. So, every author, it, it is different. Why? Because it is different according to a approach. When you take a surgical approach, it's different. When you take a radiological approach, it's different. So, right upper lobe has three lobes, uh, three segments. So, right upper lobe has three segments. Right middle lobe has two segments and right lower lobe has five segments. So, it's totally ten segments. And left side of the lung, upper lobe has five segments, lower lobe has five segments. So, it is ten segments. Ten segments. Right. So, what are these segments I am telling? Segments are nothing but, so there is structures like, you know, there are the smaller structures than a lobe which all, all lobes combine to, uh, all uh, segments combine to form a lobe. So, five segments combine to form a lobe. So, before going to that, I'll discuss, you know, before going to segments of the lung, we'll discuss about root of the lung, right? So, what is root of the lung, we call it as. So, root of the lung is nothing but the place where our bronchi, so this is the bronchi, not only bronchi, along with that, the blood vessels, which includes pulmonary artery and the pulmonary veins enter to the lung. So, when you take the lung, it has two, three surfaces. So, one inferior surface that is towards the diaphragm, one is towards the ribs. So, why I am telling one is towards the ribs, like I am telling about these surfaces, that's very important. Because we should understand that. So, here will be our clavicle, let's take. Right, here will be our first in, uh, rib. Right. So, the surface which is towards the ribs, I mean which is towards the rib cage is called as coastal surface. What is this called as? Coastal surface. The surface which is medial side, I mean where the bronchus enters, that surface we call it as mediastinal surface. Why I am telling mediastinal surface? Because here is our mediastinum comes. So, here will be our heart. Right. So, this surface is called as mediastinal surface. 
So when they, I'm calling this is a mediastinal surface, let's take the name this notch. This notch is known as cardiac notch. Right, so this is our cardiac notch. Here is our heart located. So lung has three surfaces. One is towards the diaphragm. One is towards, I mean, anteriorly towards the coastal, I mean, towards the ribcage, that is coastal surface. The other one is towards the heart. So that is medial surface or mediastinal surface of the lung. So I was talking about the root of the lung. Root of the lung is nothing but, see, here is our bronchus and trachea, right? So this is our trachea, right? This is the bronchus. Why I am drawing it like, you know, irregular way? Because right lung is bigger one and it has a bigger bronchus. And when you take the left lung, left lung is smaller compared to the uh, right, uh, right lung and the bronchus, uh, bronchus of the right lung is bit smaller, right? So this is the place where the trachea, I mean bronchi is entering the lung, right? So this is called as root of the lung, right? So we'll discuss about root of the lung. So root of the lung, so lung is, so both lungs has one root each, right? One bronchus entering each lung. So I will tell you about right, right side work lung root so right side lung root a uh, lung root so it is also called as radix of the lung radix of the lung right so let's take medial surface in the medial surface i'm drawing the place where bronchus or arteries enter to the lung so this is the medial surface so now here we should have our bronchus right so this is our bronchus right below the bronchus in the right side we have pulmonary artery so here comes our pulmonary artery right so below the pulmonary artery we have our pulmonary vein Right, so these are our pulmonary veins. So this is pulmonary artery. So this is our pulmonary vein. Right, this is our bronchi. So I am talking about the medial surface of the lung. So if you are confused about medial surface of the lung, I will put an image on the screen now. You can follow that. Right, so we will discuss root of the lung here. So this is the right root uh, right lung root so when you are talking about right lung root so upper one is bronchus middle one is pulmonary artery lower one is pulmonary vein so between these things our mediastinal lymph uh, uh, our uh, hilar lymph nodes are located so this will be our lymph nodes here located so these are called as hilar lymph nodes so this is also called as this is not just a radix of the lung this is also called as hilum of the lung so now we will go to left side the left side of the lung so that is left root or left radix right so let's take the same medial surface right so this is the medial surface now here what is the difference between the left root and the right root of the lung that is location of the pulmonary artery so here pulmonary artery was in the middle here pulmonary artery is above the bronchus so here comes our pulmonary artery below our pulmonary artery we have our bronchus right so below that we have pulmonary veins so which says always pulmonary veins are inferior so what are what are the contents of the root of the lung that is bronchus pulmonary artery and the pulmonary vein so this is our pulmonary artery right so this is the bronchus and this is our pulmonary veins these two things are our pulmonary veins right so 
when the, the difference between the right radix and the left radix of the lung is location of the pulmonary artery and always pulmonary vein is inferior, right? So, I told about the root of the lung. So, now we will discuss a basics on bronchopulmonary segment that is segment which I was talking about earlier in the video. So, what are these bronchopulmonary segments, right? I told each lung has 10 segments. So, there is no particular shape for the segment. It can be pyramidal shape, it can be shape of the cone. So, for example, it can be something. So, I can tell this is a segment of the lung. I can tell this is also a segment of the lung. Right? I can tell this is also a segment of the lung. So, all these kind of segments combine together and they form the uh, our um, lobe of the lung. So, here we have within the segment what and all the contents we have. Right? So, every lobe has a tertiary bronchi. Right? After tertiary bronchus, we have pulmonary artery surrounding the tertiary bronchus and where is our pulmonary vein situated so it is situated between the two segments so pulmonary vein is here right so when i am talking so i told this one is the green color thing is our tertiary bronchi Right, so the red color thing that is pulmonary artery. So pulmonary artery. So the blue color one that is pulmonary vein. So this is our pulmonary vein. So when I am talking about the segments of the lung, so where is the artery located? It is located within the segment of the lung. So it is intrasegmental. So pulmonary artery is a intrasegmental one. When you are talking about the pulmonary vein, that is intersegmental. So, which means it is located between two segments of the lung. So, this is about anatomy of the lung. So, guys, keep following. Please subscribe my channel.